markets have been struggling for the last two weeks. Small cap stocks have fallen down. The index has fallen down. Nifty also has been struggling and large cap also have been struggling. The entire sector has been struggling. But there are still a few stocks which are still looking good. And I feel if the kind of if market kind of stabilizes, these stocks are the stocks that will probably outperform going forward. Along with this, we're also going to look at the small cap index itself, how it has been doing for the last couple of weeks. And we look at two stocks which are going to do well. Before that, as always, this channel is purely an educational channel. And here I discuss a lot of videos around um, technical analysis and how you can use that for investing and trading. Hello, I'm your trend investor and let's get started with today's video. So the first thing we're going to look at today is the small cap index. Now, this is a small cap index since uh, you know April 2023. We've had a massive run. It's been a brilliant, wonderful run. A lot of us have made money, but the markets have been really struggling for the last two weeks. After this massive big red candle day we've had on the September 12th, we kind of risen again, we had a kind of pullback and then again we fell. But the good thing is the markets have still not broken that swing low. Now, remember, the market breadth itself is not very bad. It's pretty decent. It has fallen because of the markets, but the market breadth is decent. But the index itself actually has reversed from a very important zone. Now, this channel is on the linear channel. Now, I have been using log charts for the last few months, but I've switched to linear charts just today because this trend line here looks very good. And this looks like a confluence of support, a very short term confluence of support. It's not a very major support zone. It's a very short term confluence support because this is a very short consolidation that we are seeing here. But the index has reversed from this zone, which is a horizontal support zone and also a channel support here. Also, if you look at the middle channel on the linear charts, we have reversed multiple times. And that was the upper end of the channel if in hindsight now. Right. So overall, I think this is a nice channel to keep in touch or keep in watch in your watch list uh, or just track it. And if you kind of break below this and if you close below this any day, that should be it at least for the next few months, um, if not for a few years. Okay, so that's my take on the small cap index. Overall, it looks good until now, but if you close below this, then I think we should be very, very cautious. Okay, so having said that, let's look at two stocks which are looking good from a technical perspective. Fundamentally, they are not great companies. They are pretty bad companies but I think they're looking good. The first company is Spencer's Retail. Now, this is a retail company. It has not done very well. It's part of the RP Sanjeev Goenka group, but it's been struggling and the company is not doing well since it was listed in 2019. So this company was listed in 2019. So I'm not discussing the fundamentals because they are not great. It's a loss making company and it has not, uh, it doesn't have really anything very good in the fundamentals to talk about. So we're just going to look at technicals and I'm going to discuss some key levels. Now here, the stock was listed in 2019 Feb and we had a crazy move down. And since 2019, we had a major bottom around code crash and the stock has reversed again from code crash right now. We had a strong move up, but then it completely gave back all the gains and we are back at the major support zone. Now, the reason why I think the stock is making a bottom is because a lot of stocks have reversed from the code lows uh, recently in the last few months and this stock also has reversed now. So even if the stock kind of goes down, I don't see it breaking the major support zone over here. Right now, this is a very strong demand zone. Also, look at the volumes recently have been very good. So this stock appeared in my CCI daily scanner and I went through each stock one by one. And this stock looked very good because the stock is yet to move. The stock has reversed from the major support zone here. It's gone from 50 to 75 levels, but the stock is just beginning a major trend change, a trend change on the daily charts and on the weekly charts. And if we are reversing from here, probably we are heading higher. So the probability for this stock to go down from here is low, but if the market's correct, it can head towards this zone over here, which would be an excellent buy in my perspective. If you get levels of 60, 50 to 60, it'll be an excellent buy. Okay, having said that, CCI has been very good. It has finally crossed over 100 after many, many months. And the rate of strength for the first time is also crossing the green line. Now, remember when our stock is crossing the green line, which is the 52 week moving average of the relative strength itself. It's a very good sign for the stock, which means the stock is giving more returns than the markets. And there's a very high probability that the stock can do well. So that's from a weekly chart. Remember the trend change has happened. Uh, also pivots, if you see, it has been going down, but we have crossed the pivot 69.4 levels and we had one week of consolidation. Now we are heading higher again. So I'm going to zoom into this area here to show you what's happening on the daily charts. On the daily charts, 
we had multiple rejections around that zone. So this zone over here around 68 to 70 levels, we had major rejections, but we had a close kind of retested on the September 12th date. And now we have broken out. Now remember stocks which have broken out above the previous swing high, especially the 12th September highs or the prior highs are very good stocks. These are stocks which are outperforming and they might do well going forward. Also, the latest strength has been very good because Nifty has been going down, but this stock has been heading higher, right? So uh, that's why you see this very strong sign in terms of latest strength. So it's a very good buy at current market price. We have closed above that high as well, 75.15. You can enter stop loss of 9.5%. Now here, a small tip. Now, usually I keep stop losses around the swing low here, around the blue line. But today, I've kept the stop loss around that red line over there. Reason is the stop loss is quite deep for me. And in a riskier market like this, you don't want to keep a deep stop loss. Uh, probably you want to control the risk. But for me, the stop loss here would give me a better position. And if the trade works out, then the stock can head to much higher levels. Okay, so we're looking for targets of 140, which is around that zone over there in the weekly charts. And that should be a pretty good target for the next one year or two years or so, right? Now, remember, the markets are pretty weak. So your risk management needs to be really strong. Now, if you're taking a position and if you usually took position size of, let's say, 30% for a swing trade, I suggest you don't go beyond even 15% until you have a good gain on the stock. So at least let it move, you know, a good 2-3% from here, from the current levels, and then probably you can add more and then you can keep a stop loss or wait for a consolidation uh, around the zone if it goes sideways and then you can also add more and keep a tight stop loss, right? But do ensure current market conditions are always checked before you are taking positions and ensure you keep track of your overall portfolio heat. Um, also, that should be looking good. I'll make a separate video on portfolio heat. You can do a simple Google search and it'll give you some idea of what portfolio heat is. But ensure portfolio risk is not much. Okay, so that's the first talk for today. And if you did like this analysis until now, don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. And you can also support me and my channel by buying me a coffee. Okay, let's move on to the second stock for today. Again, a not great company, but looking strong. 3i Infotech. Now remember, unlike Spencer's, this company actually has been having recent changes. The debt has come down significantly. In the past, the profits uh, actually were eaten up by the debt and the depreciation. Now both have almost are almost nil now and the company is posting profits at least for the last few quarters. And the company has very good uh, aggressive growth targets of 1000 crore sales in financial 2024 and also has given a margin, you know, operating margin guidance of um, 18% or 15% around so right so there's a fundamentally something that's changing but always we follow the price now here we're discussing 3 infotech because we had a crazy breakout here in 2020 uh, odd we went all the way up and we retested that zone here now we are again reversing now, this is again an excellent pick remember the stock has been going on continuously also the pivot points are here and we have crossed the pivot point and it's a similar structure to Spencer's right we had exact similar structure in Spencer's also, volumes have been excellent. Plato strength also has been good. It's been rising. It's not yet above the green line, but it is looking very good and it's rising. Also, CC has been very good. So for me, such setups are excellent low risk, high reward setups. The reason it's low risk is because we have retested a major support zone. You remember one, two, three and four. Multiple times the stock has reversed from the zone and now we are breaking out. Now, I did a video last week on major support zones. Do watch that video if you want to understand. And now we are breaking out from a very solid consolidation and we are heading higher. Zooming into the daily charts here, again, a similar setup to um, what we had in Spencer's, multiple rejections. We had a move up, we had a retest, and again, we are moving up. So two good setups, two good swing trades that you can look for in the coming weeks. So volumes also have been good, and I think the retest is complete here. So a very good entry at 40, 40.35, stop loss of 8% here, and looking for targets of 80 or around 100% from the current level. So 80 is somewhere around that zone over there, uh, that high over there, and I think we should get there if the market is in a pretty good condition. Now remember, even if the stop loss is hit and if the market turns bad, do keep these two stocks because any retest uh, around this zone or even this zone is a very good buy in both stocks, in Spencer's and in 3i Infotech, right? So you can get good risk rewards. So even if a stop loss is don't have this bias that you will not enter the stock again. So these are the two stocks I want to discuss today. I hope you like my analysis and I will see you in another video. Until then, stay safe, take care and trade safe. Bye-bye.